Luke, congratulations, what a stunning performance that was. Did you know how good the game was when you were in the middle of the battle? Yeah, uh, yeah I felt you know, I felt like it was a, a really good game. I think my scoring was really good. Um, you know, I think I hit a lot of 180s. I think Nathan hit a lot of 180s against me. He was really consistent, you know, I think his doubles in a couple of legs let him down. Um, but the one two two, the one five two, they were just massive shots that turned the game around for me. And that's something I can do, you know, I can have big shots at the right time and um, yeah, I think, you know, we had a bit of fun in the end. I think he, he felt like, you know, what happened to him last week when he played Luke, you know, he didn't really do much wrong, but yeah, it was a good game. We both played well, but, you know, then clinical finishes for me is what, what turned the game around. You touched on, obviously, the, the Luke game last week and what you all did on the Euro Tour, that when you big hitters go to those spells, you almost are unplayable at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't... I, I know what you're saying, but I don't, I don't think I was unplayable there. I think Nathan could have, if he'd have hit them doubles when he had the chance, he could have been four all day, even though I was playing really good. And then it would have been like, who's who's closes the game out? So, yeah, we're not unplayable, but of course, when we play that way, it makes it hard for your opponent to even, you know, if they don't play their best, they don't stand a chance. And that's the way that, you know, the likes of me, Luke, Michael, and, and people like that play. Um, but yeah, you know, it was, it was a good performance, it really was. But you know, you know what I'm like. I, I want to push on. I don't want to dwell on that too much. Of course, I need to, to play that well in the next round, but you know, I, I enjoy the long format. That, that suits me more than anybody in the world. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy that it's first to 10 now. Last year, this was the one that got away in that golden spell. So, was there unfinished business? And would you like to add this one to the, to the CV because it's missing? Yeah, and if I do, I'd be devastated because I missed two darts in the UK, and that would have been all the, the ranking majors done in, 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 in my career. So, yeah, I'll. I'll course be really up for winning this one uh, this one that's not been won yet and the UK them, but I've got a hard job yet there's so many great players in front of me uh, and I have to beat so many great players so yeah you know I'm, I'm going to just take it one step at a time still got a lot of hard work to do I think I'm in a tough draw as well so you know I'm going to have to keep my eye on the ball and make sure I keep playing like that. Congratulations. Thank you Phil. No, you just spoke about there that there's not that many ranking majors now to, to tick off the list but you're only 29 so how do you keep that hunger and that drive once if that ever does happen, to, to continue winning. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I got asked it earlier in a question. Someone said to me, you know, what, uh, what, what's your goals now? Like, what? But I said, I've, I've achieved everything I always wanted. I always wanted to be world champion. I always wanted to be world match day champion. And I always wanted to be world cup champion. And they're done now. So for me, it makes me a dangerous player. I'm really relaxed. It's, it's nothing if I ended my career in 15, 20 years, say, and I didn't win anything else. That I'd look back and go, oh, I wish I'd have won that. They're the three I, was, I, would, I would always look back on wishing I'd won if I hadn't, but I did. So yeah, I mean, it makes me a dangerous player. I'm relaxed, you know, regardless of all the pressures on my shoulders, being the world champion or the world number one, I, I'm just, you know, relaxed. I, I just want to win as much as I can. That's all it is. And uh, yeah, I'd love to win the Europeans and, and the UK Open to complete the set, but PDC keep adding oh, extra ones now, so I'm going to have to do the Masters now, and that's another one that I ain't got a good record at. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things, of course, that will keep pushing me and keep making me play better, but you know, just, my goal is just try and win as much as I can, to be honest. What we saw against Nathan was pretty much a continuation of what we saw in Prague. An unbelievable performance, unbelievable averages. But in Leicester, you said that your throw wasn't feeling that smooth all week. So what's happened between the end of the World Grand Prix and the Czech Nights Open? Uh, I think sometimes when I play on the European Tour, just, the throws feel beautiful. They just feel really great. And, uh, the whole uh, the back room just, I just that's just the thing it's the thing I think I love the European Tour I think it's made me the power I am to be honest and um, maybe that's sometimes what you need for a bit of confidence you know, go back on the European Tour enjoy it and, and get your, your confidence back and then you know it all feels good again tonight it was you know the first dial was really really good and that's what I pride myself on if the first dial is good then sometimes I don't put in them great performances but when it is good like it was in Prague, then it, then it can be some special performances. So yeah, I think that first start was uh, really helped me out tonight. And you know, I knew I had a really tough game. Nathan's a fantastic player. I don't take him for granted. Um, but yeah, I thought you know my first start was brilliant. The, the, the scoring was good, and uh, you know I'm going to have to keep it up in the next game against Johnny. Is there a different feeling now to say 12 months ago? Because 12 months ago you just won your first major, the World Grand Prix, and you didn't really know what was lying ahead. Whereas now you're heading into the business end of the year, defending everything apart from the European Championship? Yeah, I mean, I, I've said it before, but I'm not defending anything. Everything I've won has been won. You know, when I go into the Grand Slam and I go into the players and I go into the Worlds, I'm not defending anything. I've, I've won them titles. They've gone there and the, they, they happened last year. I'm only trying to retain. So if I don't win, I've not, not defended it. I've just 
you know, I'm going to him to retain him. But like I said to you all, it's uh, it's going to be incredibly hard to, to to win like I did last year, and I've already not done what I did last year, which was win the Grand Prix. But if I can win this one, then uh, you know, who's to say I can't go on and win the Grand Slam uh, players and the Worlds? But you know, you have to be understanding that you're not going to win everything. Um, and you know, I'm just going to try my best, keep trying it. You know, build the sport. I hope everyone enjoys the way I play and uh, keep working hard to, to get better because I need to. Luke, you tried on. Thank you. Thank you. Luke, congratulations. You Thank had, you. You had that 11 data, 12 data. You talked about a 1-2-2 and a 1-5-2. Was there a moment in that game where you just thought, well, I have him? Uh, when I hit the one five two, I didn't think I had him, but I thought that's a real um, you know knife in the stomach for him. I felt. You know, I think he missed. I, th I can't be sure, but I, did he miss doubles? I can't. I can't remember if he missed a dial here, or there. But the one five two, you know, is, is a killer for him, and I knew that would that would make him feel gutted. You know, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is, you know, I knew that was going to be a tough one for him to take, uh, but we had a bit of fun in the end, and you know, Nathan's all about that. You know, he's a, a fantastic player, and I think he's getting slowly back to his best, which is nice to, to see because obviously he's a good friend. Um, yeah, and I think you know he's coming coming into some good form in the back end of the season. He's played a, the last two times he's played me and Luke Lilla, and he's had some horrible performances against him. Some some I think he's had a hundred and uh, I don't know hundred and ten, twelve average, and hundred and seven against him. So you know if he keeps playing like he is, then yeah, he'll, he'll reap the rewards. Yeah, he will look forward to the Grand Slam. Watching you in these big big tournaments, it always felt like at the start you you, you needed some time to to get going to get really in your rhythm. Mm. Um, that was different today. Um, was that something where you thinking, well, well I, I have to be better in, in, in that? Or was it just clicking? Yeah, you're right. Sometimes when I'm playing, it takes me a bit of time to get into that rhythm. Uh, sometimes maybe one, two, three legs, I'm sort of not on my best and I seem to, to crash in and, and start playing well. But you're right, I think, from the start tonight, I was pretty good. Um, it was an all-round decent performance. Um, and I didn't really let Nathan in. I know he won the first leg, but you know, after that, I was uh, I, even in that leg, I played well. After that, I was sort of on it all the time. So yeah, you're right. I think you know it's important when you're playing these tough, tough players. You don't you know let them have a two, three leg lead because if you do, they'll run away with it. So yeah, I think I was more clinical tonight, especially at the start. We all know you. You are the number one in the world. You hold many, many ranking tournaments. Uh, but how much work do you put in, well, in between those tournaments, in between in midweek or something like that? Probably not much, if I'm honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you know, I don't practice as much as I ever used to. It's probably, if I did, it probably would drain me a lot, to be honest. I think when I won the European Champ, uh, European Champ, when I won the Prague Darts Open uh, last week, I travelled home Monday, didn't practice, practiced about half an hour on Tuesday an hour on Wednesday and 45 minutes before I come here on Thursday. So yeah, like not, enough, not enough to be honest, but I feel like I've got to that stage in my career now where I don't really need to dedicate too much. I just need to, you know, to, to um, maybe, you know, keep my arm good and steady and, you know, I just don't think I need to practice four hours a day anymore like I've, I have done in, in the past. Uh, I'm playing all the time, so yeah, I, I don't think I need to. And uh, preparation is all about, you know, enjoying time with my family and then, uh, I come here in a good space and get here early on the practice board and work hard and it seems to reap the rewards when I'm here. And finally, do you also think it is maybe some kind of your secret that you are also able to, let's say, um, handle the defeats quite well, as we have seen it at the World Grand Prix and now, now you are back, you talked about Prague and this performance also back with a bank. Yeah, um, of course, I mean, every, you know, if every time I, I have a defeat and I don't, it hurts a little bit. Everyone jumps on it. You know, the fans they they kind of take it a little bit like, oh, you know, everyone takes defeat every different way. You know, I thought that the way I handled myself in in the Grand Prix was really good because, of course, I was gutted not to win, but I felt really proud of Mike. He played fantastic and he deserved it. And I didn't want to take that away from him. I didn't want the story to be about me losing. I wanted it to be about him winning. So. You know, for me, I, I accept defeat, you know, and that's something that comes with age. You, you learn to accept it. And I think the more you learn to accept it, the better you feel when you win. Um, because at the end of the day, every tournament I enter, on an average, I'll lose more than I win. So, you know, you have to accept that probably eight, not eight times out of ten, you'll, you'll, you'll have to uh, experience 
loss in a tournament than you do win. So uh, yeah, you have to experience it and, and you have to learn from it. And it sh you have to uh, make it to make you a better player. Thank you. Good luck for the rest of the Cheers. Team. Thank you very much.